So, how do you publish an ebook for free? That's what I'm going to show you in this video. You're going to see how you can get your book in digital format on Amazon's Kindle Marketplace. So, first, before we dive in, I want to quickly talk about why I think Amazon's Kindle Marketplace is the first place to start as a self publisher or an indie publisher. And in many cases, it might even be the only platform you really need to focus on. And the reason for that is that Amazon's Kindle Marketplace is probably the strongest platform out there for self publishers and indie publishers. It's and it's it definitely has the most developed platform. These are some nice statistics that I found that Amazon accounts for approximately 65% of all ebook sales. And on top of that, around 40% of those ebook sales of that ebook revenue goes to self publishers. That's a pretty encouraging statistic. Next, it's actually fairly simple. And the terms that they offer are pretty good and pretty fair. First, it's fast, you can get your book on Kinder Markets in anywhere from 24 to 48 hours. Next, you get worldwide distribution. That includes USA and Canada, all the way to the UK and Europe and India and Australia. As you can see, it's very, very wide. Now, of course, Amazon is not as strong in most of, most of these places as it is in, in the USA, but it still is to have your book in, uh, in such a wide range of different countries. It's pretty, it's pretty powerful, I think. Next, you get to earn up to 70% royalty uh, of your book sales and you get to gain access to Amazon's Kindle Unlimited and Kindle Owner Lending Library programs. Lastly, but not least importantly, you get to keep control of the rights to your work. Uh, and also you get to make changes to your books whenever you please. I think this is an important one, especially for authors. You get to call the shots you get more control of your work and your life. Now, last thing before we dive in and how to get your book on the platform, I want to go over some frequently asked questions in hopes of clearing some doubts that some of you guys may have or some unclear points. So first, do I need to have my book in Kindle format? That would be .mobi format. The answer is that no, you do not. A simple Microsoft Word file will do just fine because the platform will uh, do the converting for you. It will convert your Word file to a .mobi file. So that's not something that you should really need to worry about. The next question that usually comes up is, how do I format my book? Now, that could be another video in and of itself. But I will say this, do not use any headers, footers or borders, because uh, they will not translate to the Kindle format to the .mobi format well because as you see your page on the Microsoft Word, it will not be translated one to one to the Kindle page. Uh, so so yeah, that those those things usually mess mess things up the the borders the footers. But I will say this: do use page breaks, headings, and bullet points. They they will be translated and they will make your book look more professional. People also usually ask, do I need an ISBN? What about copyrights? Uh, the answer is that no, you do not need an ISBN. But if you want to have one, you can. Next, copyrights. Your work is actually copyrighted by default. And what I mean by that is that the law states as soon as you create an original piece of work, an original piece of content in our case, uh, it is copyrighted. So. It's not, again, you don't really uh, have to take anything out of the ordinary to take care of that. You can, what I do recommend that you do is uh, include a little disclaimer after perhaps your title page uh, in your ebook, uh, something along the lines that goes, you know, copyright belongs to you or your company, whatever the case may be. And then uh, something along the lines of, uh, unauthorized copying of any part of uh, the content included in this in this ebook uh, is prohibited is illegal or you know something along those lines 
But again, if you want to, you can register an official copyright for uh, 35 bucks, which is actually not that expensive, at uh, copyright.gov. Another question that uh, usually comes up is, should I enroll in KDP Select? Well, KDP Select is a program that Amazon offers to its publishers, wherein you get bonuses such as uh, countdown deal promotions, free five free p promotion days for every three months that you're enrolled. You get to have your book in the Kindle Unlimited program and then the Kindle Owner Lending Library program. So you get to earn additional uh, money from these programs. Uh, your book is going to be enrolled in them. But there is a caveat. The caveat is that if you do choose to enroll in KDP Select, you agree to have your book uh, published exclusively on Amazon and nowhere else. So yeah, you have to take this into account. What is more important? Are the benefits more important than having your uh, book distributed in various platforms? Uh, if yes, then of course enroll. If no, then do not enroll. So you kind of have to just and evaluate what is important to you and what, what your goals are. Okay, now <laughs> enough of the talking. Let's head on over to kdp.amazon.com. That's where I'm going to show you how, how to actually upload your book, the various steps that you need to go through. So here we are on the kdp.amazon.com site, the Kindle Direct publishing platform. Uh, this is where all the magic happens. Once you get here, there's going to be a little yellow button that says sign up just uh, click it and go through all the steps that the site leads you through uh, give them all the information that they ask for uh, and i don't think you have gonna have much issue with that so yeah it's, it's pretty straightforward once you're done you're gonna go to your account as you can see here i've uh, created a blank demo account for this video so now i assume that you've already created your uh, book that you have a nice uh, word file that you have uh, an awesome cover, what you're gonna do is click this plus Kindle ebook. Here it begins. First, you're gonna enter your title. Uh, so, a couple of useful pointers about the title. First, it should be that something that stands out, that grabs the attention of your reader, something perhaps catchy, short maybe that grabs the attention of your readers. But again, it's a bit hard to give uh, pointers knowing that probably uh, there's gonna be such a wide range of uh, authors, of publishers who wanna publish in such a wide range of uh, uh, niches. But what I can say for all of you guys, I think it's a very good idea to have one of your main keywords that you want to rank for, that you want your book to show up for so have one of those main keywords in your title. Find a smart way to incorporate it in your title. So, for example, if our book was on, uh, let's see, yoga for beginners, for example, then I would find some smart way to include that keyword, yoga for beginners, in the title because the algorithm, Amazon's algorithm, gives the title data, anything that's in the title, a lot of weight. This is a pretty useful uh, thing that you can do that will help you along the way. Next, let's see. Here you're going to enter your author name. Add any contributors if there are any. Next, another important one, the description. So here you're going to list all the benefits, how the reader is going to benefit when they buy and read your book and conversely if your book is a uh, fiction book you're gonna hook them in with your with the awesome uh, plot of your book another thing it's a good idea to uh, include html tags they look something like this for example the main heading would be h1 and all the text that would be here would be much much larger than regular text next what else do we have like we have bold text this is for bold text this. then if you want to do italic text this is what it would look like what else uh, it might be really useful for you to use uh, lists 
this would be an unordered list and every list item will look like this. So I'll show you in a moment here. So this would be list, list item. And every list item would then be like this. It would automatically start in a new line and uh, same for an ordered list. So this would be a numbered list. So yeah, I think, I think you get it. There's probably going to be a link somewhere down below where you can learn more about this, all the various tags, but it's, it's a good idea to have your description nicely formatted. Next choose whichever uh, applies for you. Most likely it's this, that you own the copyrights and hold all the necessary publishing rights. Unless of course you're publishing something that's in the public domain, which is a whole nother, whole nother case. Next, another important one, keywords. Keyword optimizing your book will help potential readers find your book. So a good tool that I can actually recommend, it's very straightforward, is that you actually use Amazon's suggestion bar as a tool that gives you ideas for keywords. So for example, uh, again, a, a book for yoga for beginners, we would you would choose keywords that are uh, relevant. You kind of have to put yourself in the shoes of the reader, of the potential reader, and see how they think. So for example, if someone would be uh, searching for, for, let's see, yoga cures, your book might be relevant to that person. They might be interested in your book. So it's a good idea to include that in your keyword area. Let's see what else. So yoga. Da -da -da -da. Yoga books, sure. Yoga for women, maybe. Maybe if somebody is if searching for yoga for women, they will be interested also in your yoga for beginners book. So yes, you, you get the point. Uh, yoga poses might be a good one if if that's in your book. So yeah, you would fill up every all of these with keywords that are relevant to your book. And that way you will get more traffic and uh, hopefully more sales too. Next, categories. A couple of useful pointers on this is that this is another way that readers find your book through ca category lists, through bestseller lists. So a good idea is one, to have your two categories Amazon offers you, the two choices that Amazon offers you in two different broader categories. I'll show you what, what I mean in a second. The idea behind that is that you can get more exposure that way. So again, let's see. For example, one broad category might be uh, mindfulness and meditation for our imaginary yoga book. That would be one broad category. Another one would be, let's have a look, might be somewhere here. just yoga. So these might be two categories that you choose. You see, these are the broad ones, two different broad ones. Instead of having two that are under the mind, body, spirit, you have two in the broader ones. Now, obviously, if, if this, if I were doing this for real, I probably wouldn't put my book here in, uh, under yoga. Since that category, I can already, I already have enough experience to know that that category would probably be way too crowded because it's so general. So you would as, as a starter, you would choose something that's more, that has less uh, competition in it. Next up, if this is relevant, if your book is a kid's book, then put in the relevant data. Next, publishing option. If you're ready to release it now, leave it as it is. If having a pre-order time is in your strategy, then choose the latter one. Let us proceed. Next, here we are on the content part. Here you choose whether or not you want to uh, enable digital rights management for your book. So this is a tool that they've made to in inhibit unauthorized sh sharing of your book. And whether or not uh, you want to enable it is really, again, up to you. Whether you want to allow people to share your work more freely and thus, thus you get more exposure. 
as an author, you would choose no in that case. Or if you want to inhibit an authorized distribution, you just choose yes. So that's the abbreviated w version of uh, digital rights management. So you will pick no. You know, at the end of the day, chances are it won't make much of a difference. So don't get stuck here. Next, here you're going to upload your book. Wait for it to load. It usually does not take too long. And then you're going to upload your Kindle cover. I do not recommend that you use the cover creator because it's chances are you won't be able to create a high quality cover for yourself. So I recommend that you either uh, hire someone on Upwork or perhaps if you're on a tight budget, find someone on Fiverr.com. Next up is the Kindle ebook preview. Here you can uh, launch the previewer. Here you can have a look at how your book looks when it's in Kindle format, when it's on the Kindle. So you can actually, here you can make revisions. If you see something that's off, something that you do not like, something that's perhaps off with the formatting, you can correct it. You can have a look, see what's wrong, and then go back to your Word file, re-upload your book, and take care of it. Next up is the ISBN. As I mentioned before, it's optional. So if you've chosen to have it, just enter it here. And part three is pricing. So again, choose whatever applies to you. I already touched on this before. Unless there's some restrictions in your case, then just choose worldwide rights, the first one. Next up is royalty and pricing. So here you choose your price point. So the catch is that for a 35% royalty rate, which is, you know, two times smaller than 70%, it's, it's not difficult math, but uh, so the catch is that to have you, if you want to have your book priced from 299 below down to 99 cents, then you're only going to get a smaller cut. So that's, that's how they kind of, have a subtle way of uh, influencing the price points of your books. Um, and here, as you can see, for 70%, for your book is going to be in, has to be in $2.99 to $9.99 uh, price ranges. So let's see, I went under $2.99. Which of these you choose really depends on your strategy. Uh, a good strategy that I can recommend right away is that at first you actually opt for the 35% uh, royalty rate and, and you can uh, distribute your book at a, a much lower price at, at uh, uh, 99 cents that you will actually get much more sales and you can work with the algorithm in that way. But again, feel free to do it your own way. You can start with uh, 2.99 or even higher up to you. But what I definitely do recommend that you do is optimize these prices, the prices for the other marketplaces. So what I mean by optimize them is to have them, for example, let's see, so Indian rupees is, would be, instead of having it 203, you would put 199 and so on and so forth. So here, for example, you would either put, I don't know, up to you, like either 49 or 99, you know, just generally just not leaving them just not leaving them as is just a using actually using the power that's given to you to optimize it be smart in your marketing and your selling tactics here i will put 99 again 99 and another price point that has that the marketing world has now evolved to is uh 97 instead of 99 so you can use that one too next matchbook so this one is relevant only if you uh will plan to have a print book also created uh, so people who purchase your print book will be able to uh purchase your kindle ebook for a uh kindle ebook for a discounted price usually i would say yeah enroll i think it's uh a good idea which might incentivize them to get the print book, uh, which 
uh, may have a higher margin for you and then that would be a win-win scenario. Next is book lending. If you've opted for the 70% uh, royalty rate, then uh, this will be mandatory. This will, You will not really get a choice for this. But if it's uh, 35%, you can choose whether you want to allow people to lend it uh, or whether you want everyone to uh, purchase it separately. It's, it's up to you. And that's it, as you can see, uh, because I have not um, completed my information for this account, for this demo account, I'm not able to publish my ebook. But all you would do is just click here, and that is it. That is how you upload a Kindle ebook. That is how you upload an ebook to Amazon's Kindle markets. I think it was pretty straightforward. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. I will hopefully find the time to answer them. And, uh, you know, next in this process, after you've uploaded your book, you would proceed to market it uh, and so on and so forth. So, yeah, good luck. Done.